What's up everybody? Um, welcome back to another video. As you can see, this is my current team right now. This, uh, I guess this is my best team, but I can have a better team. I can obviously buy a KD and another Galaxy Opal to fill out the squad. I can all obviously start all of these guys. I can start him and I can start Brandon Roy also. But I feel like this this is overkill on the cards. I really like this Cam Medish. If you haven't already, it's a free card from um the Hawk Sims challenge. Oh crap, what did I do? Um yeah, I'm gonna run Brandon Roy again, yeah. I messed up the lineup for no reason there. I I don't know how I feel about this Christian Leitner again. I've played uh, sixteen games with him, he's he scored about eight points, but both sides have been triple threat. I've got a contract on him, he's uh got a ninety six three pointer. Good driving dunk with the shoe right now, but he's not my best card. I've been grinding this guy if I've been in the Sims challenge. I haven't been doing that much with him. Sims and Triple Threat offline, that's what I've been doing with him. I should have him evoed by the end of this week. Um, this Cam Reddish is a really nice card. This is basically Paul George in a diamond wrapper. 6'8, all of Paul George's animations. Badges include Range Extender, Hall of Fame, Green Machine, Deadeye. Oh, quick first step. He has great defense, Hall of Fame clamps. Oh man, this is a great card. This is literally Paul George. His stats are nasty also. 92 three-pointer, 95 driving dunk. Good ball handling, that's because of the shoot. And look, his defense is nasty. Lateral quickness is a 95 also. But yep, and for starting point guard, I obviously, I pulled him right after the packs came out. I could have sold him, but I've been enjoying this card too much as I play with him every time after time. This card is really nice. 92 three-pointer. I wish he had a higher driving dunk, like a 96 or 95. But I'm good. 99 ball control. Great passing because it's obviously it's Magic Johnson. He's a six-time point guard. Good rebounding too, if you guys didn't know. He played center for a few games in his rookie season. Good speed. I like the speed of ball in this card. And great defense also. Clamp God, Magic Johnson. But he's a good point guard. And I... Um, this is my bench right now. I got Zach Levine. If you haven't seen this card, his his badges are nasty, but I, he doesn't have unpluckable on gold, so I'm hesitant to run him at point guard. I normally run him at shooting guard just to hide him a little bit. He doesn't get reached, but uh, Zach Levine, 99 driving dunk, good ball handling, good passing for for a point guard. But again, I normally run him at shooting guard. I don't know if I should buy Ben Simmons or wait. I probably will, but I don't know who else I could get to run. This is Jonathan Isaac. Oof, great card. I played 71 games with him already, and I know his release really well, and his defense is really good. Like, he has literally a couple of shooting badges, but all defensive badges. Look at this. Defensive leader, heart crusher, interceptor, intimidator, lightning reflex, off ball pass, pogo sticks, talent, defender. Even he can literally play power forward or center if they if they made him an out of position glitch card, which will be insane. Giannis, I'm still rocking with because it's Giannis. Everybody has a Giannis. And Joel Embiid, I'm loving this card. This card's release is the best thing about him. 91 three-pointer, uh, 85 driving dunk, good defense, good rebounding too. And he's, I like his speed on this card. So anyway, also, Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy, I haven't played that many games with him, but I'm, I'm getting to like him more and more. He has great badges. You can see Hall of Fame range extended, Hall of Fame contact finisher, quick draw, Hall of Fame, and really good defense also. And... Yeah, it's a great card. I'm, I guess I'm just showing you these cards if you haven't seen them before and you're new to my channel I'm just showing you some of the cards. I have I'm not bragging or anything But I'm just showing you some of the best cards I have and these are some of the best cards you can get in the game as of right now and I'm just gonna fill out the bench with these guys and yeah, I'm gonna hop into an unlimited game and get you some gameplay of this God squad Anyway, let's take a look. I'm gonna I want to show you guys what um I'm going to try to hop in Unlimited, but I want to show you guys my coaching. I've been... I don't know how, how to feel. How do I feel about coaching? I'll show you my playbook. I use the Miami Heat playbook or whatever. But um, coaching, I, I go with Mike D'Antoni sometimes in triple threat because he gives Giannis that boost I need. Or I normally run Brad Stevens most of the time. Um, Yeah. He, uh, I already showed you guys the team. Let's try to hop in Unlimited. I don't play that many unlimited games. I'm gonna start to. If I I know I give a lot of gameplay of cards, but I'm gonna start to. And let's see who we match up against. Hopefully it's not a god squad. 
I'll take a God Squad to prove that I, I'm I'm a, I'm up to the challenge, but yikes. Let's see. Again, this is all pre-recorded. I have updated gameplay of the squad. I have a whole bunch of cards to to um show and drop gameplay of. And I didn't get any um edits in this video, so I'm just gonna show you full on gameplay. <laughs> oh my god. This man has a squad. I don't know what to do there. I'm like, oh crap. Hey, we got a game on our hands now. This man, this is, this man probably just locked in that Galaxy Opal Carlin Three Towns. He got the Mellow and the Magic. Again, this is going to be more of Magic too, because I already know I'm about to go crazy with Magic. I didn't get a chance to edit this, or I would, I would uh, cut it up a little bit, but... Yeah, I'll show you guys this. I don't really run any these defensive settings unless I have to go crazy sweat, and I'm, I'm probably the only way I do defensive settings if I'm if I'm down in the game, if I'm down in the game or I'm struggling, I'm getting hold by two K. All my animations are going weird, and I need to make my make my way back into a game. I'm gonna that's the way I'm gonna do defensive settings and offensive settings. See first first play, give it a magic. Nope. I'm still I'm still going crazy with this Christian Leitner, but I don't know how I feel about him. I'm pretty sure there's a new card out, Brands Calabrini. Easy take by Magic, as you see. There's a new card out, Brands Calabrini. He's basically Christian Leitner with a better release. I don't know if he's as good rebounding and defender in the post, but he, he they're basically similar cards. But you could run Calabrini at the four or the three. I prefer the three at him. That way he can't get bullied by big guys. But he's, he's his defense is lacking a little bit too, so he might struggle. You might need to run him off the bench if you do. He's pretty cheap. He's like 50k now. He came out in a fan favorite packs. I don't know how I feel about those packs. I didn't open packs. If I did, I would have dropped the um video on that. But those packs were horrible. I think I opened three packs and that was it. And I got three. I didn't even get a player out of it. I seen people open boxes and didn't get anything out of it. Anyway, easy take by Magic again. Score is 4-0. He's trying to go. He's trying to go off with this mellow. I was horrible defense by me, but I don't know why. He, he settled for the fadeaway. I thought he was going to paint with that, but he like he made that. It's a good shot by him actually. He's wide open. Another take by Magic. Stupid take by Magic. Stupid take by me. I'm not gonna say Magic. I'm the one controlling the player, and he comes down and greens a shot. I don't know why he pauses me, but this man was doing a whole bunch of that the whole time. I think he pauses me for like the next freaking minute or so. But anyway, I get this chance to talk to you guys. Let me know. I got a gameplay of KG. I recently locked in KG. And um, I locked in the KG set. I'm really liking the KG. I got back Kevin Durant. I'm evoing Ben Simmons right now. I'm going to drop gameplay of all those cards back soon. Um, I'm also work still working on that Scottie Pippen. If you guys know me, Kevin Durant is my favorite player. But Scottie Pippen is one of my favorite players of all time. Just love it, the way he plays. His defense is always great in 2K, and for some reason he, he always I don't know why since 2K 2K 18, he's he feels like he has really low speed on all of his cards or whatever. But I, I love his animations every year. Um, I love his dribbling. You can skip ahead in the video if you want to. I know I didn't get to cut this out. Should have, but he hopefully unpauses. Yep, there it is. Uh, it's a tie game right now. It's it's gonna get interesting. Um, I'm trying to go off of magic again. Magic, another layup. So good. I got the Ben Simmons, as I said. Um, I'm, I'm really liking that card. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think he was going to be that good, but Ben Simmons' release is actually butter. He hits so many early, sh like, slightly early, slightly late, which you normally miss. Again, with the pause. I don't know what this guy was doing. He wasn't doing any defensive settings. I guess he was having a bad internet connection or something. Um... Yeah, so I'm going. I'm just going straight at Magic. Look, another layup. Magic makes it. I, I don't know what to say. He gets. I, I was getting. This is right with the day of Magic dropping too, so I'm getting the best animations of Magic right now. I know having Scottie Pippen on the floor is a liability on offense right now too because I haven't evoed him, and on defense most likely too because all the cards are out. A lot of cards are out that are better than him. 
But once he vote, he can he can hold his own. I still haven't evoed him at, at the time of his making his video. But I'm working on it right now. I'm still working on the James Harden Sims challenge, but I still have not I haven't been playing that many Sims challenge. The first weekend of the game I played most of my Sims challenge. I, I haven't touched those at all. Cause I've seen the James Harden stats. I'm not impressed. A easy dunk with Embiid right there. And um yeah, I'm not impressed. I know the Brandon Ingram and Siakam are good. I I have the Siakam right now. I don't have him on the squad right now, but I have him as we're speaking. Siakam is really good. Anyway, I'm up right now. Look, that was a dumb take. That was a dumb take by me. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. He comes down, agrees his shot, and takes the lead. Uh, like I said, I play sloppy and unlimited. I have to play more games to get that experience, get the feel, get the latency. Cause unlimited, you lag. If you didn't know, if you guys don't play that many unlimited games, I'm pretty sure you all do. If you're watching this video, or if you play even play Park or Rec. There's a lag, but unlimited is different. There's like, there's a reaction time you have to react to. There's a meter lag. There's a reaction time, and you gotta move your players in and out of positioning, because you know, it's weird how two K does how two K does their video game. They don't have they don't get any people out to test their games or whatever. So a lot of animations are weird how how hap, how they happen, and their servers are trash. I'll just say it. Two K servers can be horrible at times. Sometimes decent. Most of the time trash. Again, he pauses me. No, I pause. I'm gonna do some settings right now. I normally run the Hawks freelance. It's it's okay. It's probably the better freelance you can run. A lot of people run the Warriors freelance too. Um, I've again I run the, the 2013 Miami Heat playbook. I run a lot of three point plays on this because hey, everyone runs these plays. I've been running these plays since what 2K 2K18. In 2K18, I've been running these plays on this playbook. I mean, and they're they're really reliable plays too. I go to them when I really need to. I kick out right here, shot. Horrible. And he comes down and he's boom and one. It's horrible by me. So I guess I'm gonna go in, turn off my meter right now, cause I, I'm losing. I normally I I play with the I try to play with the game the meter on for gameplays, but you can't. If you don't if you're not greening your shots. And you're full whiting. I don't feel good about full whiting because literally this, this two K two K two K twenty. Literally, if you don't green a shot, you're not you're not positive it's going in. If you hit a full white, nope, oh, that's basically off. I'm not saying you can hit full. You can't hit full whites, but if I hit a full, if I shoot a full white, I already know there's like a ninety percent chance I'm not making that shot. I gotta get lucky or something. Meanwhile, you got people out here hitting full court shots on me like you saw before. Stupid. I don't know why he reversed that there. But yeah, people are hitting full court shots. Early is 100% smothers in my face from three. I don't know what to do sometimes. And those those are the people that end up beating me when they hit shots like that. I, I'm not saying I don't lose. I'm not the best 2K player. I'm decent at the game. That's all I'll say. I'm not the greatest 2K player. There's a lot of people out there that can beat me. And anyway... It's 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 an entertaining game right now. You're going back and forth, back and forth, and he greens it. I hate that trail thing. I will I will never make a tr a, a trail shot like that. But every someone I play someone, they always make those on me. And his team has take over. Again, easy take by Magic, and the quarter. Happened in the second half. It was weird, because I, I felt like I was playing much better than this guy. I don't know why, but. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see what happens. He's trying to go with his T Mac right now, but I'm trying to I'm trying to stay away. Yeah, look, he's just he's trying to force feed the T Mac. This is something I never do too. If I have play a player with takeover, I'll and he's like it's like a guard. I'm gonna try to run to some place for him because I know he'll have a better chance of catching and shooting. I'm not gonna run around and try to get a shot off with him. I do a lot of that though. I'm not gonna lie. That should have been a foul, but they don't call it. And he's out and running again. He already has a lead on me. Look. Great defense. My boy Isaac out here. I love that card. But then we turn it right over. Giannis, sell out. We got, we're, I, we're, I know we're, we're due for a new Giannis. I hope it's not a re reward Giannis. Like the, like the um, Spylight one. Because that's how they make their money too. They've got to bring out Opal Giannis, Opal LeBron. Drop those guys in packs. That should have been a steal. It's completely baited. That was a good defense actually by Zach Levine too. 
I don't know. Yeah, it was good. That was a good hook by him. You got all this face off of it. This guy's up right now. Okay, I'm panicking a little bit. I'm not panicking. Because Zach Levine got me. So, yeah, Tim Duncan. Woo, I do not like his release at all. That card. If they gave him a better release and range extender, he might see the floor a little bit more. But nope, he's an opal and I don't even play him. I'm scared to play him because he's such a reli liability on the court at all times. He can't, he's not. The thing is, if he had Joel Embiid's release, Tim Duncan would be like the best, one of the best centers in the game. Behind like Kevin Garnett and uh, Anthony Davis and like Kareem and stuff like that. But nope. Oh, and I guess what? It, go by my Isaac though, Giannis. I'm, I'm surprised I missed that. That's basically a close shot. And it wasn't even a bad release. That was a great release by me. It wasn't green. Like you, like I said, I can't hit that. And he hits a turn around fadeaway with Tim Duncan. That's the one good shot about Tim Duncan, though. His fadeaway is butter. I got to get running him more. But I'll probably run him off the bench soon. As my backup center. See, look. if I if I, Normally, I would pass that to Tim um, Embiid. But I can't pass it to Tim Duncan. Because I know he's probably going to miss if I don't green it. So, we're, we're running. We're running. Trying to get back on defense. Again, he hasn't subbed out at all. His Tim Duncan. Thank God he misses that. I, I, I thought that was going to be a goaltender by Giannis if I tipped it. I'm trying to make a little run here. Giannis, Giannis on freaking Tim Duncan. That's a mismatch. For for, for Giannis at least. On def on offense. And Tim Duncan might have the mismatch on the other side too. Because he's much stronger. Another trail shot. Thank God that didn't go in. That would have given him so much confidence. I get the ball. I'm all running with Zach Levine out here. I miss Giannis, but look, catch him right on the lap. Good cut by my boy. Anyway, this is winding down. You'll see why. But if y'all enjoyed the video, try remember to like and subscribe. Um, yeah. Again, crazy game right now. He's up by one. I'm gonna try to run some plays for Brandon Roy out here, and then I also want to get Zach Levine going. So look, this should have been, it should have been cash. Look, this is definitely. Definitely, I wanna. This is one of definitely one of the best plays. Good take by Brandon Roy, because you have so many options off this play. You don't have to go straight in, and he pauses me again. I don't know why. This guy's been doing that the whole game. Pausing, 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 and he gets. This is what he does. And he on pauses on offense, and he gets an easy bucket on purpose. I feel like he was doing that a lot, but his timer was running on also. And then what else? I'm trying to run the quick. I'm I'm trying to ice right now. See, Tim Duncan is cutting for some weird reason. It was a good cut by him eventually because I got a nice hook out of it. Not even a hook, just a layup. I take back the lead. He's trying to come down and shoot that. Like, like everything's a fadeaway basically for him and it goes in. I'm not mad, but damn, I, I'll never hit those. I'm trying to get B-Roy going now. Brandon Roy's release is still so cash. You got to let the play develop for him a lot too, look. It's a full white, but it goes in. I'll take it. He's scared right now. I don't know what he's doing, but Loki, I was nervous this whole time because, again, the lag was crazy this game. He comes down and he chucks it again. So I think he's in panic mode now. I come up. I'm trying to get a bucket right here. If I, if I get a bucket right now, it might be it might be game time for him. I pass it to Tim Duncan. Easy dunk. He was great positioning by him there. And da 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 I think that's a race quit. Yep. That'll be it for the video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.